is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 nissan titan courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because this is specifically the pro 4x version of the titan meaning the off-road spec titan so therefore we had to take a look at it also a v8 comes standard on this beast and you get a five-year 100,000 mile warranty to go along with all of that so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so msrp for the new 2022 titan pro 4x will start at fifty one thousand two hundred dollars i will say this one has quite a bit of options coming in right at around sixty two thousand dollars for the price as tested version here powering the beast is a 5.6 liter direct injected v8 putting out 400 horsepower at 5800 rpm 413 pound feet of torque coming in at 4000 rpm power sent to all four wheels through a nine speed automatic zero to 60 time is going to still come in and fairly impressive 7.3 seconds despite the size mpg numbers coming in at 15 in the city 20 on the highway now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and just put this thing to the test real quick and let's find a straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2022 titan here up to speed all right in three two one here we go there it is Wow, okay. I feel like second gear is really where the power kicked in there. It was kind of a slow start in first, but definitely enough power to merge you onto the highway. And just cruising around these city streets here, when you just hit the gas, it really wants to lunge you forward. So it was kind of cool. Definitely not gonna have any issues with the acceleration on the Titan. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 easier stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at 131 feet, which quite honestly isn't the best number, but it's kind of to be expected for a vehicle of this size, if I'm being honest. This is a massive truck and you would expect that kind of a braking distance. So as far as braking feel goes, I will say it's kind of on the softer side of things. Again, it's to be expected, but honestly it's livable and I have felt much worse. So it's not something that would personally bother me, but then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension in the back, multi-leaf rear suspension with solid axle, front and rear stabilizer bars as well. And because we have the Pro 4X, Bilstein off-road performance shocks. That is pretty darn cool as well. So overall, as far as ride quality goes, that's the first thing I think I noticed. This thing does not drive like a truck. This is incredibly a luxurious ride. This is a very smooth ride. It kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. So huge fan of the ride quality in this thing. Steering feel tends to lean on the heavier side of things as you would expect the beast of this truck to kind of feel like. So it is a heavier weighted steering feel. Also a very big fan of that. As far as cabin noise goes, also 100% on point. Really all I'm getting is the uh, ventilated seats. I can hear those. But other than that, cabin noise is pretty subdued, although I'm not going anywhere right now because I'm sitting in a red light. But still, cabin noise is pretty darn good and touching on visibility i mean it, it's to be expected it is a truck if you've driven any truck before you essentially know what this rear visibility is going to look like but it does get better though when it comes to forward visibility because you actually do get rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on the titan pro 4x and i love that feature if you guys have ever tried it you really can't go back without it because essentially what it does is it monitors the rainfall or even a drizzle and it automatically turns on the windshield wipers to the correct setting based on the frequency of the rain so it's just kind of like automatic headlights it's just one less thing you got to worry about now so you can better focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive in the titan so that is a pretty cool feature as well but anyways that about rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 nissan titan pro 4x all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 nissan titan finished in super black in case anybody was curious of our exterior color name, this thing is a beast. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Blacked out front grille with the red Nissan logo definitely looks good. And the red continues down below. You guys can see those red front tow hooks as well. Definitely looks very good. And you get two of them, of course. Active grille shutters come standard, meaning the grille shutters are going to open and close depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. You do have some silver skid plates underneath as well. And by the way, skid plates all the way through for the Pro 4X, including transfer case skid plates, oil pan, 
fuel tank and transmission skid plates as well. So really they are protecting everything. So this thing is built, like I said, for off-roading. To the sides, LED headlights do come standard with LED daytime running lights as well, automatic feature and automatic high beams. That's my favorite part because when you have your high beams on at night and the sense of the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically then bump it back up to high beams. So one less thing you got to worry about there. I love that feature. And you guys can see down below LED fog lights and you can see down below the front parking sensors just below those fog lights as well. So this thing, it's got absolutely everything. And I like the, uh, let me get up a little closer here. You got the Titan etched into the upper portion of that front grille there. And also the Pro 4X kind of insignia towards the bottom portion of that front grille as well. But anyways, heck of a looking truck up front. Let's go ahead now and make our way to the side of the beast. So but now since we are around to the side of this one, black window surrounds do come standard. You do get the Pro 4X badging found on the real tailgate there definitely looks good running boards are optional by the way and they are an extremely heavy duty set of running boards and they stick out pretty far as well meaning it's so easy to get up on those running boards to get into this thing so otherwise it's going to be a kind of a heck of a reach i guess you could say and i like the red titan lettering on the running boards there as well power adjustable black side mirrors do come standard they're also heated and if you were to go with the pro 4x convenience package like we have today you will also get integrated turd signals puddle lights reverse tilt down feature and an auto dimming side mirror then as well so that's pretty cool but rear privacy glass also coming standard and then taking a look down at the wheel configuration 18 inch dark finished aluminum alloys do come standard as well but that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, you guys can see that body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top there. You got the LED lighting just below that. Pro 4X badging found at the rear tailgate here, and that's finished in a matte finish, so looks pretty good. The red Nissan badging as well. LED taillights do come standard, of course. You get a tow hitch back there with four and seven pin connectors, and in case you were curious about the towing capacity, that comes in at a max of 9,050 pounds to be exact. And one of my favorite options that we have here today, I'm gonna get up a little closer to show you guys. You simply just press down on the side of this. It's a little side step. That comes out and then you can easily get up into the tailgate so i like that feature it's pretty cool and then down underneath below it all you guys can kind of see those bilstein shocks i was mentioning to you earlier but there also is a single exhaust outlet found on the back side passenger side there so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> So but now since we are around to the back of the Titan, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a easy lower tailgate, meaning it's gonna lower slowly once you lift up on the rear release there. So that is how that works. And like I said, there is a rear bumper step assist that is optional that I absolutely love that we have here today. As far as payload capacity goes, that comes in in an even 1500 pounds. There's a factory applied spray on bed liner that comes standard. There's overhead LED cargo bed lights as well, and more cargo bed lights other than just the overhead overhead ones that are LEDs too. So that's pretty cool. Fixed cargo bed tie down cleats also come standard. So pretty much everything you could possibly need in the cargo area back there. Then make our way up to the rear leg room. That is going to come in at 38.5 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back seats there. There is a fold down rear armrest with cup holders. So I liked that. There is 60, 40 split fold up rear seats. So if you wanted to store your great Dane back there or so, definitely would have enough room if you were to do that. Rear ventilation though does come standard. Dual rear USB charging ports does come standard. There is an available 12 volt power outlet back there, 120 volt power outlet back there, and heated rear seats also are going to be available for those rear passengers as well. So pretty much everything you possibly want up there. And of course the power sliding rear window, that button is uh, located up front here on the ceiling of this Titan, but did want to mention that as well. That's going to be back there for those rear passengers too. But then making our way up to the front seats, stain resistant cloth seats do come standard. However, that of course is not what we have today. We'll get into that in a second. Eight way power driver seat with power lumbar coming standard convenience package like i mentioned earlier we have that that gives you a four-way power adjustable front passenger seat heated front seats heated rear seats like i was saying memory settings for the seating and leather seating then as well with the red pro 4x contrast stitching and the red pro 4x 
logo found on the uh, upper corners of those seats as well. It's pretty cool. So overall, though, seating was 100% perfectly comfortable. Definitely not going to have any issues with even taking this thing on a long road trip if you wanted to. So very nice seating. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. And if you go with that convenience package, it is also heated and power adjustable. Although I will say the power adjustment is probably the slowest power adjustable steering wheel I've ever noticed. But anyways, it doesn't really matter quite honestly. But then making our way to the startup, let me show you guys the key here. You got your Nissan logo all the way to the top. Just below that, the circular button is going to be your remote start, which comes with the convenience package yet again. Lock and unlock, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, when it comes to the gauges, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls, of course. Gives you things like your speed limit of any given road, outside temperature. It is 92 degrees out right now. It is stinking hot, but also how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your trip A, trip B. When do you need your next oil change? The list goes on, so quite a bit. Pretty much everything you could possibly we went on the digital portion of the gauges then. Then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a dual panel panoramic moonroof available. We got that option. That goes for $1,490. I love it. Dual zoom climate control comes standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for up to three different garage doors comes standard as well. Big fan of that. LED interior lighting. You do have a charcoal metallic interior trim coming standard as well. Found just above the passenger side glove box there. Of course, you got your grab handles both in the front and the back. Back. There is an overhead sunglass holder as well up top there. Front and center, you got your USB-C and USB-A charging ports. Also your ventilated and heated seat buttons, a little bit of rubberized storage, dual cup holders, and within the center armrest, possibly the very most storage within that that I have ever seen. That is quite a bit of storage in there. And there's a 12 volt power outlet up here as well. And of course, you can also adjust whether you're in four wheel drive high or low or two wheel drive up here just below the push button start then as well. So overall, everything is set up pretty nicely. I do like like the kind of red orangish contrast stitching found just above the infotainment screen and the gauges and all that as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen since i mentioned it you do get a nine inch color touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming of course android auto apple carplay factory navigation system though also comes standard so that's pretty cool you can check out your radio information up there as well and so when it comes to the sound system you will get six speakers coming standard however there is a 12 speaker sound system with a subwoofer by fender available we you have that today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one okay like i always say whenever i test a nissan sound system that's the fender sound system or the bose for that matter they do both but Base is 100% always on point in Nissan and Infiniti. I'm telling you guys, there is a ton of bass with that sound system. Crystal clear as well, so absolutely nothing wrong with that sound system at all for the Titan. But anyways, last thing I wanna to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen at least is when you do put the Titan in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And yet again, with that convenience package, you also get a surround view monitor found there on your right, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard standard, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, a driver attention monitoring system, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert, rear parking sensors, reverse automatic braking, and traffic sign recognition as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Titan, the best limited and powertrain warranties in its class, you get the five-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty on the Titan. I absolutely love that. Very nice tech actually on this one as well. I like the infotainment screen. I actually like the ride quality a lot as well. That's one that kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it to be such a ridiculously smooth ride because it's a truck and you usually don't always get that. So that was pretty nice. When it comes to room for improvement, would have loved to have seen a digital gauge cluster that's somewhat customizable, meaning you could change the colors or the loadout or whatever, kind of like Nissan does for the Rogue. Braking is probably a bit too soft for my personal liking as well. And I wouldn't have minded something that kind 
kind of differentiated itself from some of the other competition. Like if they were to add a, maybe an in-bed cooler, an in-bed generator like the F-150 does, or maybe a in-bed sound system like the Ridgeline does. Just something that makes it different or unique. I don't know, I'm sure Nissan can get creative, but something that really makes this thing stand out. I always look for that kind of thing. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new Titan in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.